All right, we are live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Vino Invent. This is so exciting. Okay, so happy Sunday. Hello, Christian, Tristan. Scoot Oops. back a little bit. Sure. Okay. Perfect. Better. Hello, everybody. Okay. Welcome. Yes, welcome. Welcome to Vino and Ben. Let's go ahead and say hello to some people. So hello to Clinton and Thomas and Sapna and Lane and Amanda and Chris and Kyle and Sean and Will and Aranda, Shana, um, Marlon, Mateo, Will, Z, Bryce, R.C. Flores, <gasps> Sydney, my sister. Mm -hmm. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, Patty. Alana, my sister's wife, is on here. Oh, my goodness. Hi, fam. Welcome. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so welcome to this week's Vino and Vent. We went through and we numbered them last Sunday. And what number are we on now? This is 53, I think. So our dog is coughing. She's staring us in the eyes and coughing. I'm so sorry, babe. She's fine, I promise. She's totally fine. It sounds worse than it is. Okay, keep going. So we numbered that. So welcome to Vino and Vent, number 53. <laughs> we are so excited that you could find your way here and spend your Sunday evening with us. So why don't we cheers? Yes, cheers. Whether you are drinking Cabernet, Chardonnay, Dr. Pepper, Perrier, water, tea, coffee, the Shirley Temple. Cheers to you. Why don't we talk about what we're drinking? Okay. And then see what everyone else is drinking. Okay, so PJ, what are you drinking tonight? I am having the last of <laughs> the bread and butter. Cabernet. It's a cab. Um, as far as cabs go, this and... Josh are like my two favorite. Oh, our cat's trying to jump up on our laps. There he goes. Are our two my two favorite cabs? I love a Cabernet Sauvignon, and those are my favorite. I just got out of the shower, and I cannot handle the hair. Okay, so what are we? What are we going to talk about? What are we up to? What's everybody up to? Yeah, what has everybody been up to? Bryce is drinking fruit punch. Chris is drinking water. Thank you, Eddie, for the heart over on TikTok. Chris and Kyle are drinking non-alcoholic Coronas. Hi, Eli Bailey. Um, oh, yeah, and I'm drinking just a Nighthawk Black Cabernet. Um, you guys, I have to tell you about what happened last night because it was something else we um we had a brand send us a product and the product was like a drink and it has a uh, thc in it <laughs> well we had like this much of the drink and let's just say it was too much it was wild. I we we sat down and had like popcorn and we were, we were watching a movie, and I looked at Thomas and I was like, um, "I'm definitely feeling that drink." And as soon as he said that, I was like, "I am so glad he said something because I was thinking the exact same thing." And I was like, "Yeah, oh my gosh, I am too." And suddenly everything was hilarious. Everything was Some, all over the place. Something happened in the movie that was not funny. It was actually kind of gross and morbid. And Thomas, I turn and Thomas is like dying. Yeah. Oh, I don't. So basically, if we ever drink that again, and we need to do like the smallest amount possible. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, what else? So, um, hello, call me Alex over on TikTok. Um, I don't know what that, that means. 
What, what was it on? Josh said, then you went and napped. <laughs> <laughs> no, then it was time for bed. Oh, why don't we talk about the show we were watching? We so, did nap. But that was before <laughs> that. If you watch one of our day in the life videos, you'll know what um, they mean by nap. Okay. Um, so listen, why don't we talk about what we were watching? Okay. Oh, real quick, PJ. A lot of the people are loving the mustache. Thank you. Um, so we were watching Three Body Problem on Netflix. Which is really good. It is. I have never heard of the book. I know after after the mini series came out, I did a bunch of research and I know it was like a worldwide phenomenon. It was a huge success. Um, but I had never, mm. oh no. I know why. Because of what we just said? Well, it was, I think. Oh, was, I know what you said. Yeah. 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 Sorry. We got a flag on uh, something on one of the platforms. Anyways, three body problem. So good. Very um, well done. You could tell it was done on a very grand scale. All the acting is top notch. Highly recommend three body problem on Netflix. Oh, Thomas Lawrence. Yeah. 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 Uh, Thomas Lawrence. So over on um, Instagram, um, we received your sweet um, recipe booklet in the mail. This was such a thoughtful uh, it was. gift. It was. So he put all of his like uh, favorite cooking recipes in here. So now it's in our cookbook section in our kitchen. It's so sweet. Christopher, we are paying attention to this stream. I'm sorry. If you asked something, I apologize. If we didn't, if we didn't get to answering. Okay, so Faith said, "Cute cat. What's his name? His name is Alistair. He's a little poo poo head, but he is really cute." Uh, Lane said that we froze up. Did we freeze over on YouTube, guys, or was that just Lane's computer? <clears throat> um, Christopher asked, "What kind of wine?" I'm Ooh. having this Cabernet by Bread and Butter, and Thomas is having a Boda box. Nighthawk Black box. Um, okay. So what did we do today? Um, today we went out to the farm because we met someone who bought one of our dryers that we had in storage. We are trying to minimize our life. And that includes getting rid of a lot of things that we have just because we have so many things. Um, we have a storage building on our farm that's 5,000 square feet and it is packed from one end to the other of things that I've bought over the years and things that I've saved and construction materials and all kinds of different things. And so my goal this summer is to really empty out that building and sell as much of it and get rid of as much, donate whatever. So we went to the farm and did that. Mm -hmm. And then we, I did some dirt work on the tractor and then we had to come home to pick up our daughter because she spent the day with Thomas's mom. Yep. And they went to church. Somebody asked where the kids are. They are sleeping. They are sleeping. So which books are you reading right now? I don't really, I wish I loved reading, but I don't love reading. Thomas does read. You were reading something this morning. What was it? <clears throat> I just finished. My book, um, the very secret or the secret society of irregular witches, and I'm about to start the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm so excited! My sister got me that book for Christmas. She is raving about it. Everyone has been talking about it, and um, I'm excited to start it. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, oh, why are they never on here? Who? Michael said, first time watching the stream on TikTok, and I love the wider view with the cat. Mm. Oh, good. I know. I wonder, I'm always wondering like what the different view is on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I feel like it looks the best on TikTok. 
I think. I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like TikTok puts a filter on us, though. Mm -hmm. That's why I think we look the best. <laughs> right, I need to get him off because he is so big. Um, what else? So the kids are back in school. They had spring break off. Now they're back <clears> in school. <throat> they go to school this coming week for four days, and then they are off for Easter. They're off Friday and Monday. Mm -hmm. Thomas's birthday is also this weekend, and we're trying to decide if we want to go down to our beach shack, but not a hundred percent sure. Yeah, I mean it's it's a pretty easy drive to the beach. It's like six and a half hours, but seven with the kids, and. We would we would only be down there for like three days, and we've never. Thank you, Kyle, for the bunny ears. Thanks, Kyle. Um, the last time we went to the beach shack, which is is this little tiny house that we have in Florida by the beach, um, we were there for a day and a half. So I don't know if we're ready to go back or not. My birthday is March the 30th. Someone <clears throat> asked, excuse me. I want to ask you, I want to ask your guys' opinion regarding some married gay influencers who are easily getting divorced and romanticizing the divorce. Mm. Who is that? Ooh, the tea. Yeah, you can spill. Um, I don't know any of any of ones that are getting um divorced um but it's sad i don't know i mean is it sad i guess it is probably i don't know i i, I guess divorces can be sad and happy softness said thomas needs slash wants to trip away i forgot we did talk about this last week and last week's vino and vent thank you jc yes we do have three kids um i don't know that i'm necessarily like pining for a trip away I just think that it would be a great um, excuse to get away because the kids are off school. And I think this is the last break before summer. Right? I don't think there's any breaks in April or or May. So this is kind of like our last um, last time. Yeah. And we also have the Beach Shack listed for sale. So there is a chance that if we don't go this weekend, we yeah. may not get to go again. So I don't yeah. know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I don't really feel like going, which is so funny because last year I was the reason why we went down so much. But I've really just not been feeling the beat check. No. No, I haven't either. That's okay. Someone on YouTube, Jonathan, said I can barely stand a three-hour drive. Mm -hmm. And I get it. However, I have found something that works great for me. Do you know what it is? Podcasts. Mm -hmm. But on my AirPods. So what I've been doing, because I'm the driver um, in the family. I'm the driver in the family. And I put my AirPods in and I plug in a podcast. It's usually Los Culturistas or Keep It. Um, and I just listen to that the whole way down. And it is so easy and so... I don't know. It's just great. No, else. Oh, he's digging. No, baby. Go on. Keep going. Sorry. He always tries to jump up on my lap. And that always hurts me. Um, yeah. Sweet. Lori said, my dog will be 10 on Tuesday. Happy birthday to mm -hmm. her. Becca said, I'm so late. Hope I didn't miss anything I need to know. No, we're just getting started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Salty Sale says, cheers. I have my vino as well. Cheers. Um, yummy. Okay. So. Pull myself one more. Okay. Um, oh, why don't we talk about our um our newsletter issue let's do it so tuesday's um tuesday's issue of our newsletter is going to be spicy <clears throat> thomas pj somebody asked mm. 
Um, what is this week? I can't say it. Was it? My, I guess I could. Was it, it my idea? Uh -huh, all of the items. Oh, is that gonna? I, I don't know if we did that or should do that. I think we should. So, okay, here's the thing. With our newsletter, we're really trying to experiment and be a little bit more like open and candid about, I guess, taboo subjects. You can kind of understand where I'm going with that. I don't want to get flagged. Um, but yeah, Tuesday's newsletter is going to kind of dive into that subject and we're going to take a peek behind the curtain of something. So that's all. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, someone asked about Kate Middleton's announcement. That's also something that we talked about last week on last week's Vino Invent. We were talking about like, where the heck is Kate Middleton? What's going on? What is that noise? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, yes. And so Kate announcing that she has cancer is heartbreaking. It's honestly not at all what I thought was going to be said. Um, and I'm really, I feel really sad for her and their family. I've been re... You've coughed like eight times already. I don't want to hear it. I have not. I have not. Um, hi, Sydney and Giacomo over on TikTok. Hey, guys. Um, but it was just really sad. What? What did you think about her cancer diagnosis? That was sad. I read something on Vox that was like so many more young people are getting diagnosed with cancer. And it's sad. It's really sad. Um, <clears throat> Toby said, I'm going to New York City in early June. Any recommendations? Um, we have not been in a long time. Yeah. So we would not be the people to pick. I'm sure there's a bunch of people on here right now that could give you recommendations. So mm -hmm. guys on TikTok, if you have any recommendations for New York City, please let him know. Yeah. You know what's also funny, or not funny, but weird about Kate Middleton is she's the same like princess as Diana was, right? Princess of Wales. And it's like, I feel like we always said Princess Diana, but we never say Princess Kate. It's always like Kate Middleton, or, right? Or like Princess Catherine. I don't know. I always just call her Kate Middleton. Hello from Hong Kong. I don't know. Yeah, Sopna said a cancer diagnosis is heartbreaking for all concerned. Yeah, how's everyone in the UK handling that right now, Sopna? I don't know. Hello from Utah. Um, Paul recommended that Toby start making reservations for dinner as soon as possible. Hmm. Okay. So we talked about Kate Middleton. We talked about what show we're watching. What else? Does this kind of taste like Blackberry to you? I've been watching Drops of God on Apple TV Plus. It's all about wine. I'm sure it's mm. not about boxed wine. No, not at all. But they do like the smelling and... Mm. Um, I don't know. It, it'll probably say on there what kind it is. I tried to see. I didn't see. Um, oh, Alistair, our cat is circling us, wanting to jump up on here. Um, hi from Montana. How are you? We are doing great. Today was a great day. The weather was good. It was chilly the last couple of days. Oh, big! one of the big things that we were up to this weekend and end of the week was my sister was in town. Mm. She lives in Virginia Beach, and it was her and her husband and their four kids. So we spent a lot of time with them. We tried to see them every day that they were here. And last night they came out to our farm and got to see all the animals and let the kids play. It was really fun. Hi from Monterey, Mexico. Love from India. Have yeah. Ever, have you ever been to Copenhagen, Denmark? Would love to show you around. We've never been. I would love to go though. 
Lancaster. Hello from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Columbus, Ohio, Maryland. We've been to Columbus, <clears throat> Ohio before. James, we live in Tennessee. Aloha from Hawaii, Chile. Hello, everyone. Have you ever been to India? We have not. Hi from California. Uh, hello to um, New Jersey, Maryland. Emma said, good morning, PJ and Thomas. Good morning. What time? Where are you? Ocean Shores, Washington, Columbia. Welcome, Brazil. We've got everybody in the house tonight. Illinois. South Africa. Try South Africa wine. Mm. Hi from snowy Minnesota. Snowy Minnesota. St. Paul, Brazil. Or, what was, no, it wasn't St. Paul. It was... Um, Ooh, someone said we'll send you some. Yeah, if anyone, I will never say no to free wine. If anyone wants to send us some wine to try and Vino and Vent, we have a P.O. box and you can send to a P.O. box. I think that'd be fun. <clears throat> okay, so Thomas over on YouTube said that YouTube keeps freezing. Gosh, I wonder what's going on tonight. We're going to try something different on YouTube, guys. We're actually recording on a separate camera. And we're going to upload that instead of posting the live, I believe. We're going to test that and see how it. it does. Gabriel said, guys, I wanted to ask you if religion is something you talk or teach to the kiddos. The great question. We, we talk to them about it all the time, actually. We are not religious, but there are people in our lives who are, and they take the kids to church and teach them about their God. And I think that's wonderful. Like today, our daughter went to Catholic mass with my mom. My mom has been taking each one of them every single week for some one-on-one -on -one time. And then they go to church with their aunt on Wednesday and Sundays. Yeah. I feel like we came to our decision of how we believe um, by having the choice to make the choice that we made and like we were both raised, I was raised Methodist and Thomas was raised Catholic. And I want them to be able to have the same option. Yeah. If religion is something that becomes important to them, I want them to be able to, to decide for themselves. But I've told his mom um, and really, I don't know if we had that conversation with their aunt or not, but basically if, if, like grandparents want them to have a relationship with church, then they need to be the ones to establish that because it's just not something that we um, do or want to do. Mm -hmm. so there you have it. That's how we handle it. Um, Michael said, starting to look into adoption with my boyfriend, what is something you didn't expect raising kiddos? Something we didn't expect. I think for me, I didn't expect all of um, this, which of course I just, the scheduling was really hard for me in the beginning. I, I wasn't a very structured person before we had kids and it's like really helped me into becoming more structured. So now I have like a, so many alarms on my phone. I put everything in my calendar and it's really helped me stay structured and, and stay on a routine. And if I get off that routine, I get really like antsy and kind of mean. Like if we stay too late somewhere and I'm like, we have to get home, we have to have dinner. Like even tonight I was like rushing you to leave the farm. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, it's already 5.30. We haven't had dinner. We haven't showered. Like, so that's, that's, that's what it was for me. What about you, PJ? Um, I don't know. What was the question? <laughs> you went on. I don't know. What was the question? I missed the first part. It was the same question as I answered. It was, um, what did you not expect about having kids? Mm. Um, the sass. I think maybe like how hard it is to keep a house clean 
or what I would consider clean. I remember visiting people's homes who had kids before and I'd be like, oh, oh man, that's greasy and that's dirty and that that's dusty. And now like if you go through our house, everything is greasy, dusty and dirty and we clean all the time. It's just impossible to keep the house really, really clean, but we keep it tidy. So I would say just like keeping, you you can clean your house for hours and then the kids will come home from being somewhere and it will all, like every room will be dirty again. Yeah, you said that yesterday. Yeah. So I would say that. Um, someone over on TikTok said, do you recommend good part clothing? And have you met Taylor and Jeff? So yeah, we are wearing, I'm wearing a Good Park hat tonight. PJ, you're wearing the good, some Good Park sweatpants. Um, I will say, so full disclosure, they sent these to us in the mail, which was so sweet. And I have to say the quality is amazing. Like mm -hmm. I held up the sweat, these sweatpants and I was like, oh my God, they're so heavy. They're so thick. The shirts are really thick. Uh, the sweat, the hoodies are great. So yeah, I would definitely recommend them. Yeah, I really like them. And yes, we have met Taylor and Jeff. We did a partnership with an airline company. Um, it was KLM and they flew a bunch of people to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And so we got to meet Taylor and Jeff. We hung out with them for like three or four days. It was, I honestly think by far my favorite influencer trip yeah. that we've done so far. Same. They put us in this really nice hotel and it was so fun. And we like stayed up super late walking the streets of Amsterdam with all of like the most amazing people. Yeah. And it was so much fun. So I'd love to do that again. Yep. It was a blast. And we have a YouTube video all about it. Actually, if you want to see it, it's, I think you can just go to YouTube and search PJ and Thomas Amsterdam trip and you can see Justin Livingston and Taylor and um, Anthony and Jeff, some fun people. Um. <clears throat> I think that's Derek on TikTok said, you can't see the stools or your crotches on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, everywhere has a different- um, you, you can on TikTok. Yeah. Everywhere has a different uh, crop. Okay. Do the kids have I chores to, yeah. and get an allowance? So they don't get allowances. They do have chores. We don't have like a strict list of like what they do, but they know to keep their shoes in the laundry room. Immediately they take their shoes to the laundry room when we get home from places. Coats go in the laundry rooms. Backpack goes places. They're in charge of bringing all of their dirty clothes down to the laundry room from upstairs. And they, they're in charge of cleaning their rooms. And our middle son is in charge of feeding me animals. He is so helpful with that. So he feeds them in the morning and he feeds them in the afternoon. He also changes the garbage bag whenever we take out the garbage. He's really a good helper. Somebody said, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, so in five years, our kids will be 14, 13, and 12. Oh uh, yeah. 12 or 11. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. Hopefully we'll solve the farm. I don't know if we'll still be living in this house. Maybe we will. Oh my gosh, you guys, speaking of... <sighs> We need a moment of silence. So dramatic. I feel like I'm just the right amount of dramatic. Not so dramatic, but yes, just the right amount of dramatic. So there's this house in town. And longtime follower, or not followers, but subscribers, readers will know that there have been a couple of houses in town that I that I love. And I'll admit that. But there's this house in town mm -hmm. that sold like three or four years ago. And it's this big gorgeous, almost like California vibe style house. It's not really like any other house in town. And it's built in the 60s and it has so much charm. And 
Anyways, I was randomly thinking about it last week. Like it just popped into my head. And I was like, I wonder whatever happened to that house. I wonder if they fixed it up because it didn't need fixing. All of a sudden, a couple of days ago, I log on to realtor.com and what do I see staring at me in the face? I cannot tell what's happening right now. That house. That house was staring me in the face because it was for sale on Realtor. And I literally, I was the only one awake and I literally gasped into my coffee. And I was like, I cannot believe this house is for sale. Not the mansion. So Chris and Kyle and said, over on YouTube said the mansion. Okay, not the mansion. It was about 5,000 square feet, but it, it was not the mansion that I that I loved. Um and it was for sale and I drove by it and I really wanted to go look at it. And then two days later, it's already pending. So that's the house, one of the houses that got away. What I loved about the house was that all of the rooms were ginormous. They're all so big. Um, and our house doesn't have big rooms. And I think that's why I loved the other house so much. Somebody said, how many years have you been married? We've been married nine years this year. This is nine years. Andrew, yes. I love that PJ is just along for your journey right now. Uh, we've been together, though, <laughs> since 2010. Um, yeah, 14 years. Sopna said, how's Holiday House coming along, PJ? It is slowly coming along. I'm really dragging my feet on this one. It could have been finished a lot sooner, and it could be finished real quick if we just really committed to getting it finished but this coming week we finally found our hardware that we're going to be using it's very yes. similar to like what you see in this kitchen yes we have some latches and knobs and cups uh so hardware is going to be going in this week we had to tweak our kitchen island and have them come back out this week to cut it down to make it three inches smaller because we could not find a piece of countertop that would fit the current island it needed to be smaller so when they do that then we can have our countertops measured and installed and then i've also scheduled for the plumber to come out this coming week hopefully and he'll finish up or at least get close to finishing up and then mm -hmm. those little tedious things that need to happen in order to make it finish but we still have like the plumber needs to come back, the electrician needs to come back, the gas line person needs to come back to install the pipe for that. And we still have to have our final inspection for electrical. I know. We're so close, but so far away. Mm -hmm. Like truly. My goal is May 25th. So it's March, mid-March. So we have half this month and then all of April and May. And it will be finished and we'll be able to stay in it. Gosh, you cannot wait. PJ, can you offer any advice for purchasing your first home? That is a great question. Um, I always kind of fall back on the same thing. Make sure that you know your market so that you know if you're getting a good deal for a piece of property. So be familiar with what homes are selling for and what to expect make sure that you're pre-approved. So go ahead and go to the, your lender, find out how much you can afford before you even look at houses. I know when that comes, like when you have a realtor and they, they're gonna tell you get pre-approved, it's really important because you're competing with a lot of people right now. Usually in most markets, the inventory is really low. And so you wanna be competitive. One way to be competitive is to already know what you're pre-approved for, have a pre-approval letter that you can send with your offer. and what else? Be familiar with like locations, areas. Maybe you find like not so great of a house, but it's in a great area that has potential to, if you were to sell it later, you'd make a lot of money. There's three. That was great. I was like, I wonder what he's going to say. That was really good. Someone, someone on YouTube said, are y'all beefing today? <laughs> we're not does it seem like we are we're beefing every day what are you talking about we're not beefing today i was annoyed at you earlier in the morning and i was annoyed at you for rushing me at the farm yeah but no we're not beefing 
We, I'm trying to think, I think there's only been like one or two times where we have actually been like arguing before Vino and Vent. I'm sure you could go back and find, like see on YouTube. But I mean, that's like my worst nightmare is to argue right before having to go live. Oh, but no, we're definitely not beefing. Sopna said, do you miss being a realtor, PJ? I, there are times where I miss being a realtor and then there are times that I don't. I would say that realistically, if we ever stop doing what we do right now, which is like content creators, yeah, I would probably go back to real estate, whether I was just purchasing homes for myself and renovating and selling them, or if I was going to take on clients again. Yeah, I definitely, I, I enjoyed it. It was my favorite job up until the one that we're doing right now. Thomas, you look like James Dean films from the 1950s. Do I like any? Um, you know what? I've never seen a James Dean film. I've seen films about James Dean. I saw the mini series of James Franco that came out in 99, I think. And then I saw the one with that other guy who wasn't a very good James Dean. But I used to love James Dean. Love. Um, what about real estate do you miss? So <clears throat> I love the, the hustle and bustle of it. I, I was very competitive and I loved, yeah, <laughs> loved getting a deal under contract. My, maybe the, the year, was it the year before or maybe two years before? I don't know. One year I got top, like out of the brokerage that I was at, I got top listing agent. So take like listing agent, meaning like you're listing the property. And then I got top selling agent. So selling the properties. And then I got overall top producer. And that was a fun year. Mm -hmm. It was a very busy year, but I really, I don't know. It's a very competitive business. And if you know what you're doing, it can be a lot of fun. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be really scary. Yeah, especially when like you don't know when your next deal is coming. PJ's your back. Yeah, my back is really hurting, which might be another reason why it could seem like I'm annoyed with Thomas when he talks. My back is killing me tonight too. I don't want to yeah. hear it. Okay, so someone on YouTube, on uh, Instagram said, I believe Thomas wrote relating to your son who was bullied during your Disney trip. Life is not fair and it's not supposed to be. What did you mean by that? Yeah, I did write that. So um, he's referring to our our newsletter called OK McKay. Either last week or a few weeks ago, I wrote about our son being bullied on a recent trip that we went to by another young kid. And I, I did write, life is not fair. We teach them all the time that life is not fair. And I believe that life is not supposed to be fair because I'm like, whoever said life was supposed to be fair? You know what I mean? It's like, there's nothing that says because something happened to you, it's supposed to happen to me, or because you get this thing, I get this thing. And that's like a huge discussion in our house because our kids all the time are always like, well, like she got, you know, a popsicle. Why didn't I get a popsicle? And it's like, you know, I don't know. I try and teach them like, just because someone has something does not mean that you're entitled to it or doesn't mean that you're supposed to receive it. Um, you know, maybe she got a popsicle for X, Y, Z. And I don't know. So I, I, that's my belief. I don't, I guess it's not everyone's. I don't believe that life is supposed to be fair. And I think that that is, if you, if you live like that, then you will always be let down. And that's a hard way to live. No, we have, someone asked if we watched the Jake Gyllenhaal film with his ripped body that was recommended to you by my mom. We have not <laughs> seen it yet. Roadhouse. I want to watch it. Hi, Devante. Did you say that already? No. Hi, Devante. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay. <clears throat> I love I can see what I said. Oh, thanks, Will. Will left a really sweet comment on YouTube. Um Judy said, it's good to teach the kids that life is not fair because it's a hard truth. <clears throat> that is true. 
So James said PJ was at back support outside when you were washing my truck. <clears throat> yeah. So I have this like spandexy thing that kind of I use like a back brace kind of whenever I know I'm going to be doing like outside work or labor. Do you have it on YouTube? Do we have what on YouTube? <laughs> I'm hot. I'm so hot. Is that what you're saying? Why are you burning up? Um, I used to do physical therapy on my back. I have like a foam roller that I use at home, and then I sleep on ice packs whenever my back is hurting real bad. Thomas got me these, which I love because they have the strap if you need to like Velcro it around you, but it also has this pouch. So the ice pack goes inside it. And this is like a velvety pouch. So it's not so cold when you first put it on. Like that though. And then my sister-in-law got me this one for migraines which I realized why I have migraines and it's because I don't drink enough water, but I still yeah. use this every night. You put your head in it. What is the most awkward gift we've ever received in a PO box from a follower? Mm, well, I don't know. Letters come to mind. Um, we received a couple of like, oh yeah, they were, they're, they're, yeah. How old are you guys? So I'm 32. And I am 37. Mm -hmm. Thomas is 33 actually, because he turns 33 next week. I am 33. That's <clears throat> true. You always age me like six months before my birthday. He'll start telling <laughs> people he's 38 i'm like you i don't turn 38 until six months you embellish no. so much i would never do that i don't ever round up <laughs> i don't no i'm 35 yes 33 i'm 33 i love being in my 30s honestly i'm a gemini what are you an aries thank you Yes, I'm an Aries through and through. From what I little I know of astrology, I'm very much an Aries. PJ is very much a Gemini. Um, oh, someone asked about the six percent commission. With oh yeah, <clears throat> one big thing that's about to change in real estate is there was a there was a lawsuit. I don't know too much of it because I'm out of the real estate game, but there was a lawsuit and NAR settled national association of realtors settled. And now the buyer's agent who usually gets part of that 6%, usually half, there's a chance that they're not going to be getting that, or they're, they're going to have to start negotiating with the buyers, their percentage. It seems really messy and mm -hmm. I would be really scared if I was a realtor because I wouldn't want to work for free for sure. Yeah. Both for moms, both of our moms are realtors. So it's definitely going to affect them. Amanda said, Thomas, sometimes I feel like you have an inner diva. LOL. I love it. I feel like we both do. I'm more dramatic in like our day to day. You're more dramatic and like overreacting with things. You're more dramatic in everything. That's I'm dramatic <laughs> when like overreacting with things, big things, mm -hmm. or small things. <laughs> Like, like, like me putting away the coats and you couldn't find it. Or no, what did I put away the other day? And you were like, couldn't find it. He constantly moves things that like I'll organize stuff and then he'll move them usually to the basement, which if you move anything to the basement, that means it's lost forever <laughs> because it's, there's too much stuff in there. No, I knew where I put it. So yeah, 
I like clean and organize. And a lot of times I mean just moving things to the basement. And it is hard to find, but you found it. I found it for you. But yeah, I definitely have an inner diva. I don't know if diva's the right word. I don't know. I just, I am dramatic about like how I told you I gasped when I saw that house was for sale, like audibly gasped out loud. And I mean, I, we know where I get it from. Yes. My mom is so dramatic. Um, a few different people have asked over time where we met. We originally met at a friend's party and then we connected and like, reconnected a year later on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know. And that was before the good old days of like, good old days. That was before Instagram. Facebook was around. It was before TikTok and all of that. What's your, Matt wants to know what's your biggest pet peeve about the other? Um, Thomas clears his throat like maybe a hundred or something times a day. He's done it on this live so you can watch it back and you'll know what I mean. No, I haven't. I don't think I've done it on the You live. did. You did. So he thinks it's a tick, like a certain tick that I do by... What are those called when you do something by habit or? It's like a compulsive tick. Yeah, it's not. Like something is literally in my throat that I'm clearing it to get out. Um, and you can even hear my voice will change sometimes based on it. Um, and I would say the, I could answer yours, but go ahead for me. You did it tonight <laughs> while on live. Are you embellish? No. What is your biggest pet peeve with me? How you, oh my gosh. Sorry guys, that's my email. Um, how you overreact? No. The one that you tell me constantly is when I drink anything. Oh, you that. did it tonight on this yes. live. Yes. PJ like gulps with his entire like esophagus. Is that the right thing? And like his stomach, like he just like, and it's like the loudest. And then like my eye starts twitching. I get chills up my spine. I start shivering. It's like the worst sound. Um, Terrell and Jarius are on here on Instagram. Hi guys. Hey and they guys. Asked, they asked, what did we do before we became influencers? Um, I worked for an insurance company. I was not an insurance agent, but I'm going to tell you what I did. I would I worked with a sales rep, oops, and I was in a little cubicle and, um, oh my God, Amanda said, I hate when Thomas cracks his knuckles or anything else. <laughs> Amanda, <laughs> we did not ask you guys for your pet peeves for us. It's supposed to be between the two of us. I'm so <laughs> embarrassed. Um, and so I worked with a sales rep and I would build the insurance policies. Like they would quote, they would send in quotes and I would build like the insurance policies in our system and give them the quote for what it would cost the companies to do insurance. That was my job. When, what did you do? Um, I was a realtor and I sold properties and I also flipped houses, which we still kind of do. We still do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do it. All, yeah. You, you do like two a year. Yeah, so I started renovating houses in 2008 when I was 22, and then I got my real estate license in 2013. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Amanda, if you should... Oh, here's another one, Amanda. <laughs> when Thomas wakes up in the morning, he'll, he'll dramatically, like lift himself up dramatically throw his legs off the bed and then it, he goes <laughs> <laughs> wait can you hear that you're supposed to be asleep and then he'll go <laughs> and crack my <laughs> pj mckay you're supposed to be asleep are you not asleep no. so here's what i do in the morning i wake up and i pop everything 
because it helps me feel better. So I'll start with my neck. Hold on, let's see if I can do it. And then I'll start with the, my back. No, it's not gonna pop. <laughs> I'll start with my. <laughs> what about your and your <laughs> and my crack? I'm joking. And then I'll wait. Hold on. Kinda my elbows, my ankles, my knees. I'm just I don't know. I'm cracking. Um. Okay. Hold on. That is some exorcist stuff. I my my neck does not turn all the way around, and I don't <laughs> vomit green puke. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, I do snap, crackle, and pop. I uh, can't help it. I always have. So um, Christian said, PJ is a psychologist, right, or studied. So yeah, I did, I'm did. i not a psychologist. I did go to school. I got my bachelor's in psychology. And then when I graduated, I went and worked for uh, Department of Children's Services for six months. And I was an investigator for child abuse. It was way too hard for me to come home mm -hmm. with those... I just couldn't separate work from that. So I quit. And then that's when I got my real estate license and did that instead. <clears throat> so Roxy said, are you all affectionate in front of your kids? What is the reaction normal? So we try to be affectionate in front of our kids because I want them, if anything else, I just want them to see what like, affection is and what it can look like. And it's really big for me. So I will purposely like hug PJ or kiss PJ in front of the kids so that they see it so that it does become like normal every day for them. I don't want them. We know that they're going to hear it from other people about how it's weird that you have two dads or whatever. I mean, we've already talked about that. They have heard that before. Kelly, that is amazing. I have a few friends that made it as long as you did. And that is, that it is takes... Amazing. It takes a very strong, good person to do that. So good for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's very important to me for our kids to see us showing affection. Because also they learn from their parents. Like I want them to be able to show affection to their significant other whenever um, they get older. You know? Yes. Who has the better singing voice? <laughs> I would, Thomas, I would say Thomas. In no world do I have a better singing voice than you. Are you joking? I think you're being modest. No, PJ has a really good singing voice. He, he sings country really well. What's the name of the guy that you love to sing? Randy Travis. Randy Travis. God love Randy Travis. The kids like the, the park or the cruise ship more? Honestly. I feel like the cruise. I feel like the cruise too. Yeah. They definitely enjoyed both. And would have been happy with either. Mm -hmm. But they were obsessed with the kids club at on the ship. They would have stayed there the whole time. Yeah, it's called the Ocean. It's called the Oceaneers Club. Every I think all the cruises for Disney have one. And they loved it. Okay, guys, we officially have five more minutes of Vino and Vent. So if there is anything you want to talk about, let us know. We normally we end these with what we're listening to and what we're watching. We kind of talked about what we're watching. But we also started Apples Never Fall on Peacock, which is really good with Annette Benning, Allison Brie. Excuse me. Chris and Kyle said, is Taylor's version of the Eras Tour different than the one broadcasted in November on her birthday? Um, it's a little bit different. There's like four extra songs. Um, yeah, it's good. It's really good. Any books you recommend to read? The Secret Society of Irregular Witches. Have you guys seen the Mary and George trailer? Yes, and I cannot wait to oh, watch that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to, we've already talked about, we don't have that subscription platform, so we're going to do it just for that show. Did you guys see Griselda? How do you pronounce that? Gris Griselda. Griselda on Netflix. We started it, but couldn't get into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Beetlejuice. Gregory Allen mentioned that. What about Beetlejuice? I am obsessed yes. with the trailer that they just released for Beetlejuice 2. Looks so good. Beetlejuice was such a big part of my childhood. I cannot wait to watch the next one. I tried to, I got Thomas to look and see if we had 
access to Beetlejuice, but we couldn't find it. Yeah, it's not streaming. We'd have to like rent it or buy it on Prime. Mm. So I don't think we're going to do that. But it's definitely too scary to, for our kids to watch. I, I swear it is. Uh, Becca said, Thomas, have you read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo yet? Becca, that is what, so you, whenever you logged on here, you said, sorry, I'm late. Did I miss anything? You actually did miss that. I mentioned that I'm about to start that <clears throat> now that I finished my other book. Willie, I am 37 and Thomas turns 30 33 on what day? Saturday. 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 Palm Royale. I cannot wait to watch that. Someone recommended that on TikTok. I really want your mom watched that and she said tonight that she loved it. Um, so I can't wait to watch that. I'm I am personally watching on the treadmill whenever I go to whenever we go to the gym, Drops of God on Apple TV Plus. It is a really beautiful, very tense, dramatic show. If you have not seen it, it's called Drops of God on Apple TV Plus. It's so good. What are our signs? I'm an Aries. PJ is a Gemini. <clears throat> Who's making the birthday cake? Um, Probably me. No. I don't mind. Uh, we I haven't made a cake in a while. We normally buy them. We have been. Oh, yeah. We do the bread basket. Yeah. Yeah. Willie, Willie on TikTok said, why did we pick Tennessee? <laughs> well, Willie, my great, great grandparents picked Tennessee and they bought a farm and that's where I was born. And I've been here since then. Yep. And then my mom and dad moved here in the eighties and settled down. And so I've been here since 1991. And that is why we chose Tennessee. Now, we we did choose Tennessee to stay because of our family is here. If we didn't have family here, we'd move probably. Um, even though we do we do love Tennessee. Not necessarily their politics, but it's a, it's a beautiful state. Yeah, we love being close to our family. We're so close to our moms. Mm -hmm. And like my cousins don't live very far from us. And Thomas's brother and sister live mm -hmm. 30 minutes away. So we like being close to family. Yeah. All right. It's nine o'clock. Awesome. That's it. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight for Vino and Vent. We love that you are here with us and that you take time out of your schedule to spend it with us. It means a lot. Thank you. We are here every Sunday at eight o'clock. We go live from eight to nine. If you just joined in late, We'll see you next week, hopefully. Uh, we'll be posting about Holiday House this week. I we have a, a tutorial, yep. I did a little uh, DIY project today that we're going to be posting tomorrow. And yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Happy Sunday. Have a wonderful week. We will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.